Hi, my name is Dr. Ryan Dorgan here at Mill Creek Chiropractic. Today I want to give you three tips that you can use right away and implement to help improve your posture while sitting at your desk. The first thing I want to go over is when you're sitting, you want to make sure your back is all the way up against the backrest or the back part of the chair. The reason why is if your shoulder blades or your back starts to round or hunch forward off it, it starts to show where your spine is starting to round forward. That's where you're having those postural issues, which can cause tension in the upper part of your back, your shoulders, and where your postural issues. A lot of those can be related to the things that you're doing on a day in and day out basis. The second thing you want to do is when you're sitting in a chair, you want to make sure your hands and your arms are back and close into your body in this position. The reason why is because when your hands are extended out in front of you like this, it causes abnormal stress in all your extremities, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, and it increases your postural chance for your body to start to slouch. There's two things that can happen when you slouch. You're either going to tuck your bottom under or you're gonna to start to round forward like this. I'm sure you've seen postural issues where people start to round their shoulders forward when they're at their desk. That's why you always wanna make sure you have your keyboard, your mouse, or anything that you're working on close into your body. Anything that's close to your body, that's where you're gonna have increased strength closer to your core. If you've ever lifted something, you know it's a lot harder to lift something away from your body than it is to hold or lift something close into your body. The second thing that you need to do is along with your hands and bringing them close into, you need to make sure your neck is in and your head is in eye level with the center of your monitor. If you're looking and working at a position where your neck is looking down, it's gonna cause excess strain on the joints and nerves of your upper, mid, and lower part of your cervical spine. If you're looking down for extended period of times or even a short length of period of time, the joints and nerves at the base of your skull, that goes to headaches, earaches, neck pain, those types of issues. In the mid part of your neck, it goes to all the muscles on both sides of your neck, even coming to the front. So SEM, TMJ, neck pain, things like that. If it's in your lower part of your cervical spine, it comes out into the top part of your shoulders and all the way down into your hands. Some patients experience with those is neck pain, shoulder pain, numbness and tingling into the hands. So that's why it's critically important to make sure everything keeps yourself in this good posture and good position. The third issue that you need to do and you need to make sure that you're doing when you're sitting is you need to make sure your feet are flat on the ground because it keeps you grounded. When your feet are dangling or hanging down, it's going to basically where it's going to put excess stress and strain on your spine due to gravity coming, pulling you straight down in the rest of your body. Okay, so you need to make sure you maintain that and take care of that position. The other thing is you need to make sure your chair height is at appropriate height so your feet can be flat and in that good position. If the chair is way too low and your knees are coming up and a hyper or extended up like this, it's going to cause added pressure into your hips and your pelvis. If it's too low, that's where we got to the, uh, excuse me, too high, that's where it's going to cause the pressure where your feet are dangling down. So that's going to be an important tip that you can add.